Hello folks, my name is Daniel Rutledge with MSI Supply and today I'm going to be talking to you about globe valves. Uh, first we'll go over some common uses and applications in which you might see a globe valve. We'll also discuss all information that uh, you as the customer will need if you want to order a globe valve. And then finally we'll discuss some common mistakes and terms that you may run into when dealing with these materials. Now before we jump in, let's do a quick overview of how a globe valve works. Now I have a uh, a handy cutaway here, so hopefully you can get a little bit better of a, of a visual idea. But basically, an opening in the middle of the valve down here towards the bottom, this is what is called the seat. And then uh, you might be able to see this, uh, this round plug or disc as it is sometimes called. This is screwed into the seat in order to close or shut off the valve. This disc is attached to the stem, which rises out of the valve and is connected to the hand wheel. Uh, this is how it is operated in manual non-actuated valves. Now, globes are used almost exclusively for throttling or flow modulation that will only work in one direction. Now this is very important and to help you remember that, on the side of every globe valve there is an arrow that will be indicating the direction of flow. Uh, like ball valves, globes can be either full port or reduced port, and just like gate valves, they can have either a bolted or a welded bonnet. Another uh, distinguish distinguishing characteristic of these valves is that they can have different patterns or body shapes. There's three patterns available. There's the T pattern, which is uh, the most common, and if you see here, I have a little smaller one. It's easier to pick up. If I turn it upside down, it's shaped a little bit like a T. There's also a Y pattern, which is used for more high pressure applications. And then there's a 90 degree pattern, which can also be used for high pressure, but you generally see it used more in water service. If you need to order a globe valve, here is the information that you're gonna need. We will need to know the size, the pressure rating, as well as the end connections, whether that's socket weld, threaded, flange, socket weld by thread, whatever it might be. Uh, we will also need to know whether the valve is full port or reduced port, whether, whether the bonnet is bolted or uh, welded, and then finally uh, the material of both the body and the trim. Now the trim refers to the internal elements of the valve. There are over a dozen different API trim numbers that indicate the material of both the disc and the stem. So if you have that information, definitely pass it along to your supplier. Now let's talk about some common mistakes and terms that you may run into when dealing with these items. Uh, the most common mistake that people make is not specifying if they need a valve other than a T pattern. If you order a globe valve and you don't specify the pattern, the T is what you're going to end up with, just like this one here. So if you do need a Y pattern or a 90 degree pattern, uh, be sure to specify that to your supplier. A few terms that might be helpful for you when you are dealing with these valves. Uh, you might see the acronym BB, this stands for bolted bonnet. There's also WB, which is welded bonnet. There's FP for full port, RP for reduced port. Uh, you might also see FS for forged steel and WCB, which indicates cast steel. Now, cast steel means that the material for the valve was melted down and then put into a mold in order to create the cast that becomes the body of the valve. Another acronym you might see is WOG. This stands for water, oil, and gas, uh, meaning that the valve is used for water, oil, and gas service. Now, here at MSI Supply, we are set up to meet all of your globe valve needs. We have stellar working relationships with a number of premier globe manufacturers, including Bonnie Forge, Barrick, Walworth, Nibco, Valon, and a lot more. Uh, we can provide valves in a wide variety of sizes and pressure classes, including 1,500 pounds and up, as well as a litany of different body and trim materials, whether you're needing carbon, stainless, uh, or even an exotic alloy. Uh, so we're here for you. Uh, I know this is a lot of information, but I, I hope this has been informative, and uh, that's why we're here. So uh, don't forget to call MSI Supply for all of your globe valve needs.